Imagine, around 600 BCE, if your face was disfigured in battle or an accident, would you think you'd have to live with it forever? Well, guess what? Modern plastic surgery isn't actually new. Its roots stretch back thousands of years to ancient India. The great Indian physician Shushruta, who lived around 600 BCE, was the pioneer in this field. His Shushruta Samhita describes over 800 surgical procedures for reconstructing noses, ears, and more. Think about it. How advanced was the knowledge of our ancestors? These surgeries were used to restore faces disfigured by war or injury. Fast forward to 1793. During the Mysore Wars in India, a local car driver named Kawaji lost his nose. An Indian surgeon from the traditional Kumhar community successfully reconstructed Kawaji's nose using a forehead flap rhinoplasty, a method similar to Shushruta's. British surgeons Thomas Crusoe and James Finlay witnessed and documented this remarkable procedure. Their detailed report was published in the Gentleman's Magazine in London in 1794. Inspired by this article, British surgeon Joseph Carpew meticulously studied the Indian method. On October 23, 1814, he performed Europe's first successful nose reconstruction using this very technique. Today, this method is still known as the Indian flap. Discover more astonishing truths from ancient knowledge. Subscribe to the Codex Vault.